how to use the Adalo API to create records in Airtable, and everything is connected between our Airtable base and Adalo, let's look at how to update records. So if we look at our Airtable database, uh, we have a few meal entries in here. I've added an extra one. And let's say that our client realized that they put in the wrong information. They submitted the wrong info for, uh, you know, one of these macronutrient categories and they want to go into the app and edit that entry. What we can do is we can add a couple of new screens here in Adalo. So if we add that plus sign and we're going to add a screen. And we're just going to add a list screen. So just a simple list here. And this will be our meal journal screen. So our meal journal screen will come from our add meal screen here. We click into the top. We can add an icon on the left. So this icon, what we want it to do is we want this to go to our new meal journal screen so that the user can essentially click that list icon and that's going to take them to their any meals that they've submitted. And just in this list, uh, we'll give it a Simple, this is a list of client meals and the title will just be, we can click on this add magic text icon and we want the title of each of these to be the meal type and the subtitle to be the meal description. So that's all set up. Awesome. And our list title here will be meals. We'll do meal entries just to clarify. Great. So all of that is good to go. And we won't need an icon here, the left section. Uh, we don't need that. We could just have that list of meals. So we're going to add that screen. It's going to be a form screen and I'm going to say update meal. So what we want is when a client clicks on one of their past meal entries, this form will open up on the update meal screen so that they can update any field. Uh, to be able to edit that entry. So if we click in here, we want to add an action and we will link a tap to the update meal screen. Perfect. And then as well, we'll link this uh, plus button to adding a new meal. Uh, so not update meal, but to the home screen. Okay, great. And so now what we're looking at is this form we need to connect to our client meals. And this time we don't want the form to create a new meal. We want to update a current client meal. And again, with those fields, we can remove the ID field as well as the created time field because those do not map to our Airtable database. So we have the fields that we need. And with the submit button, we just want to make sure that it says uh, yes. So update client meal. Uh, and then this link action is just for this arrow up at the top here. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but when a when this form is submitted, it's going to update a client meal based on the fields that have been specified. So the username, meal type, and everything that's in there. 
it will only update the current meal that's been tapped out of the ones that our client has available to them. So they'll know which meal that they're updating based on the meal that they tap here. So let's go in and, and preview it and see what we can get here. So we're actually going to log in. So we had already set up our user email and password for our test user. So we'll log in and we have our add meal page here. So again, we don't want to add a meal, but we want to be able to see. So we can right here, we have our snack that's listed in Airtable, right? So we can see our breakfast burrito and our protein bar currently in there right now. And so we can see that, oh, we have a little formatting issue here. So let's pop back out. We can go into our update meal. Uh, no, sorry, it's in here. And I believe it's in the subtitle. Ah, there it is. So we have subtitle. Let's get rid of that. Awesome. So that now is fixed. We can go back in and Perfect. So now our formatting is correct. We don't have an extra subtitle word there in our subtitle. We just have our two snacks and now we can click on one of them. So let's click on breakfast burrito and you can see it has populated the fields from our Airtable database for us to update. So let's see what was wrong here. Uh, potentially total fat. Maybe this was actually supposed to be 18.3 instead. And so we can now update our client meal. Great. And if we head into Airtable, there it is, 18.3 instead of the 20.3. So now we have a couple of screens in our app that will allow our client to update their meal tracking info, as well as add new meals in Airtable. Thank you.